I'm not ordinary. Ain't nothing ordinary about me from my looks, from the way I think. We just want to make dope shit. ASAP Rocky is one of the most influential figures in hip hop, whether that's through his music or fashion. He's considered by many as one of the greatest rappers in the game due to his experimental and trendsetting nature. Today, let's look at ASAP Rocky's albums from his sampled dreamlike sound in Long Live ASAP to his unique reinvention of Memphis rap in Babushka Boy. And let's understand the iconic production behind ASAP Rocky. Fashion Killer was one of the most popular songs off ASAP Rocky's debut album, Long Live ASAP. Many people credit this album as having a great influence on cloud rap over the coming years. Fashion Killer was produced by one of ASAP Rocky's long-term producers, Hector Delgado, Friendzone, and ASAP Rocky himself. The track samples Mr. Yeah by The Dream, in which these four sections are chopped and looped rhythmically, with reverb and delay added to make it sound more dreamlike. This hi-hat clap and snare roll then lead to the main section of the song. Which, no joke, features the stock FL Studio kick and snare. This snare roll then leads into the verse where the hi-hat is taken out for some differentiation. The only change in this beat is this filtered section. The sample is the main feature of this song and the drums are kept simple to complement this sample and give ASAP Rocky room to deliver a great rap performance. Next we move to ASAP Rocky's more experimental 2018 album, Testing. Hector Delgado said this album was meant to sound different. He doesn't like the cookie cutter shit. You know what I'm saying most of the times we try to stay away from doing the typical. You said that this album was about testing new sounds. I've always been experimental with my music. Considered by many as ahead of its time and ASAP himself as his Yeezus. That's one of those experiments where that was like my Yeezus. Let's look at the song ASAP Forever. The song samples Moby's Porcelain, which also sampled Fight for Survival by Ernest Gold by reversing this string part. <laughs> In the ASAP Rocky track, this sample is pitched up three semitones and combined with this subtle sample from TI's ASAP. This then leads to these anthemic sounding drums. Which is again experimental and creative for hip hop as there is no hi-hat and this kick and snare are soaked in reverb. Also, there is no 808 or bass. This is repeated over until the second half of the track. The beat switches to 95 BPM and the sample switches out to another section of porcelain. <laughs> This is then replaced with the reverse strings until the big outro section comes in. Hector Delgado got the original stems to Moby's Porcelain. He actually has a version that he replayed. He gave me the stems for that. So this bit was just left to play out as in the original track. The evolution of this beat, the sample, the drums, hooked the listener in for a psychedelic ride around ASAP Rocket and Kid Cudi's world. You didn't think I was going to leave out Praise the Lord, did you? Produced by UK artist Skepta, this song samples a garage band loop in which this little synth chord is added. These hard-hitting simple trap drums are used. The sample is then pitched down one octave to give the track differentiation in the verses. This was the most popular song on testing and it is easy to see why. Lastly, let's move on to 2019's Babushka Boy, heavily influenced by Memphis Funk. Our influences weren't just New York music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up listening to like 3 Six Mafia and like I was influenced by a lot of different sounds. The idea originated with Russian producer Padillion, whose original beat is used in the Babushka Boy trailer. <laughs> This original beat was passed to ASAP Rocky's team and was the inception of Babushka Boy. The song starts with this sample of the crime clicks. And to this, I added this money counter sound effect and this glass breaking sound effect. In Padillion's original beat, he uses the stock FL Cowbell. Rocky used the same one in the original track, right? And to this, I added the same effects as he added the reverb, the delay, and the EQ. And this Cowbell melody mirrors the one in the original sample. Hard hitting 3 6 Mafia style drums are then added on top. 
This crazy reverse vocal then leads to the main drop in the track. <laughs> This growly 808 and open hat are added, as well as this siren sound effect. Later in the track, a new 808 pattern is added and keeps the beat differentiated. In the outro, the Memphis a cappella is chopped up and rearranged, again, just to keep it interesting. And this beat led to a lot of Memphis funk style beats, including this. I gotta feed the streets, my pistol gonna bleed the streets. And this one. All these remakes will be over on my Patreon. Go check over there for a more in-depth look. So we know ASAP Rocky and Hector Delgado like sampling. That's what makes sampling fire to me. Like you found something like a little snippet or something, you, you made that little snippet into a whole new thing. So for beat one, let's find a sample. So on Tracklib, they even have this ASAP Rocky collection. I really like the ambient sound of this one. Let's check it with the beat player. Let's download the sample. Let's set it to generic and auto to stop any popping. Today's video is sponsored by Tracklib. Tracklib is an online record store featuring over 100,000 previously released records. This is constantly being updated with new songs, new samples. The best part is these can all be cleared affordably and quickly. One of my favorite things about Tracklib is the diversity of the music on it. I mean, we can range from like jazz to dance, to rock, to hip hop, to around the world music, which then can inspire new kinds of sampling with tracks you would never previously discover if it was wasn't for Tracklib. I'll have my sign up link in the description which gets you a one month free trial and 15 free credits to go and download your samples. Go check that out after this video and let's get back into it. So now let's speed up and pitch down the sample. With the drums, let's keep them experimental, but not go too crazy. So we need that unique 808, but also low and growly. Then let's get some sound effects for the chorus. And then I added this little bridge section to keep it interesting, which then drops perfectly back in. For beat two, let's do the Memphis style over a dark melody. So I laid these two melodies with this dark piano, to which I added these two further melodies. Which then gave me the perfect foundation to add this Memphis vocal over the top. Then with the drums, I just tried to go as experimental as possible. Then I have this little breakdown in which I had the 808. For the chorus section, I added these sound effects. Then the second verse, I just stripped the melody for some differentiation. And also I added this A to A just to keep it interesting. And if you ever wondered how Boy Wonder makes beats, check this video out. 